In this video, I'm going to create a couple of different photos by applying a gradient. So I've created a couple of different images that I'll show you the before photos of each of them. Here's the first one, and I've just taken a couple of stock photo images. And here's the second photo that I've created, and the before photo for this one. If you'd like to use these text overlays in one of your projects, I'll include a link in the description below and you can download the files for free. So I'm going to start at the library panel and I'm going to import some photos. So I'm going to come down here, click import photos. And here's my three photos that I'm going to be using. So you can either double click your files or choose open and then click import. And then once those load, we can go to the edit panel. And the first thing I'm going to do is duplicate this background. So I right clicked and then I chose duplicate. And then I'm going to turn that background layer off. I'm also going to add a white background layer. So come up here and add new layer, making sure that we're on the very bottom layer. And add solid color layer. And I'm going to choose white and click OK. And now I'm going to come up to my first image and I'm going to move it to the left a little bit. So making sure my pick and move tool is selected, I'm just going to click and drag and move that over to the left a little bit. And then I'm going to drag my second image up. So I'm going to click and drag at the same time and just drop it up there. And I'm going to move that one as well over to the right. So I'm just going to click on that image and drag it over. And I'm just going to enlarge it just a little bit. Just like that is good. Okay, and now I'm going to turn that image off, that layer off. And I'm going to come down here to my first image and I'm going to add a mask. And with the mask selected, I'm going to come over here and choose Gradient Tool. And I'm selecting the linear gradient and my colors are, the foreground color is black to white which means it's going to fade, it's going to start black and fade to white. So we need to draw a line from the right to the left. So just click and drag and see it adds a nice gradient. And you can pick that line up and move it over depending where you want your gradient to be. You can shorten the gradient. If we take this line and bring it all the way to the right, it actually is a more solid line. It's not a gradual gradient. So I'm just going to put it back because I want that gradual gradient. And then once you click off it, you can't make any more changes. So you want to make sure that that's where you want your gradient. So I'm going to click it to accept it. And now I'm going to turn on my next layer. I'm going to click onto the layer and I'm going to add a mask. And I'm just going to do the exact same thing, making sure I'm on the mask and my gradient tool selected. Everything here is the same. And notice my opacity is at 100% and my blend mode is at normal. And then I'm just going to, instead of going from the right to the left, I'm going to go from the left to the right because we're going black to white. I just click. And we can just move that, move that over. And I think that looks good. So I'm going to click to accept that. And the next thing I'm going to do is add a black frame around the whole image. So making sure I'm not on my mask, but I'm on the actual image, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on to shape tool. 
and I have my rectangle selected and my color is black. So I'm just going to come up here and I'm going to click and drag and make a rectangular shape. And then I'm going to subtract from that shape. So I'm going to choose subtract from shape area. And then I'm just going to click right here and drag and let go and we have subtracted from our shape. And you can, if you want to resize this, you can do that. Just click back onto that shape layer, select the pick and move tool, and just resize it to however you, whatever dimensions you want it to be. So I'm just going to leave it like that and accept that. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is add a quote, a word overlay. So I'm going to come up here and click Add New Layer, Add Photo Layer from Folder, and I'm just going to come down here, select my Word Overlays folder, and choose this one. So I'm just going to double click to accept it, and there it is. I'm just going to resize that a little bit. And I like that. So I'm going to do another example. So I'm going to clear this. And I am going to be using this photo along with another photo. So I'm going to duplicate this layer again. So right click, duplicate, and turn that background layer off. Come down here and add a solid color layer and click OK. Choose white, click OK. And now I'm going to come back up to my background copy and with my pick and move tool selected, I'm going to move that over to the left. Same process as the first image. And I'm going to click on this third image that I imported earlier and I'm just going to click and drag and drop that up there. And I'm going to do the same thing, move it over to the right, just like that. And I'm going to turn that off for now and come back down to my first image and add a mask. Making sure I'm on the mask, I come over to the gradient tool and I haven't changed any of these settings. I still have black to white and a linear gradient. So I'm going to go from right to left. Just like that. And click to accept it. And now I'm going to turn on my top layer. And click on that layer and add a mask and making sure the mask is selected. Grab my gradient tool and do the opposite left to right. And you can place that however you want to place that. I like that. I like this image with a little bit of greenery from the top image showing through. So I'm going to keep it like that. I'm going to click to accept it and then I'm going to grab my word overlay for this image. So I'm going to come up here, add new layer, add photo layer from folder, and here's my second word overlay. So I'm just going to double click to accept it and just move that there. Now I don't like how this is all clumped together. I want to move the first line over to the top left a little bit. So I'm going to select my select area tool, making sure my rectangle is selected and then I'm just going to make a quick selection and then I'm going to select my pick and move tool and I'm going to move that right about there and then I'm going to select command D to deselect it and now I want to move this part, the second marry someone you can't live without, I'm going to cut that part out. So I'm going to choose the select area tool again and make another selection. Grab my pick and move tool 
and just move that down here. And again, Command D to deselect. And that's it. So I hope you like this video and if you do, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, I hope you subscribe and hit the bell to